it is not possible to load Grandma 2 macros directly into the Grandma 3. But from now on, we have a small script to convert Grandma 2 XML files into the Grandma 3 format. Simon Plotkowski from Poland is the one who also wrote the Offsetter software, a really nice tool that brings tour productions to the more easier way. He programmed this script and give it to everyone for free. Inside of this video, I will show you first a small test macro that I created to check fixtures during the construction part. Then I will show you how we export this macro from the Grandima 2 to an USB stick. Then I will show you where you will find the script software, where you can download the script and how you use the script to convert MA2 macros to the new MA3 standard. And in the end, I will show you how you bring your macro inside of the Grandima 3. Thank you to Simon Plotkowski for this nice script. And if you like it, please follow him on Instagram. First of all, I will create a simple macro on the Grandima 2. Let's have a look. I have a group pool with a group of fixtures at place number one. Here I have a preset pool with all colors. I have a sequence pool and my macro pool. If I like to create a macro, I simply have a right click on the empty place inside of the macro pool. Then this macro editor opens and I have a right click on the new line. So my first line should select all my fixtures from group number one. So I write group one. The next line should activate the blind mode. So I write blind on. Next line sets all fixtures to 100% intensity. At line four, I like to give a color. I will give a color from the preset, this preset pool number four, and I like to give the color number two. This is this nice red. And with the next step, I like to store this in sequence number one, Q number one. Now I change the color to green and I store this green color into the next step so that I write store sequence one Q two. And now I change the color again to a nice blue with at preset 4.8 and store this color as my third step. Now I clear the programmer and in the end I switch off the blind mode. And with the next line I will assign a trick time to the queues. I like that the queues automatically run after each other with one second delay. This should be my test macro. So last but not least I will name it. This is a test macro so I call it test macro. So let's check this. I can run this macro just by simple tap on it and when I now tap on it I see it automatically creates me the sequence number one. I will start this sequence by giving a command into the command line just go sequence one and the sequence is working. I see three colors, intensity full. Perfect. For the next step. Now I have to export this macro to a USB stick. For this I go for setup, tap on import export, then on export and on macros. At the upper right corner of this window I can select my target, so this is my USB stick. I choose my macro number one and now I tap on export and I see here this console directly export this macro to the USB stick. So next, to run this script we need that Python software. For that we go on the homepage from Python, this is python.org and at the downloads area I see there is a download for Windows and also for Mac. We can use both systems anyway it's working. I choose the Mac version and I have an older Mac version. For that I use the Python software 2.7. So I download the software. After download I find the software inside of my download folder and now I install the software to my computer. Now I have the software on my computer and the computer is able to run the scripts. So next step is to use the script from Simon Plotkowski. 
I see this is the small folder with just five files inside. There is also this readme file. This gives also a short instruction to how to use this small script. So now I need my Grandima2 macro. I go on my USB stick and inside of the Grandima2 folder I have this folder macros and in this folder I find my exported macro test macro. Just by simple drag and drop I copy this macro into the script file folder. Next is I have to rename this macro. I have to give the name MA2 macros. So and now I give a right click on the file with the name main. I choose the option open with and I open this script with the Python software. Directly after clicking the script is running, some small windows opens. I bring them to side and here I find a new folder MA3 macros and inside of this MA3 macros I find now my new macro uh, test macro. This is now converted for the Grandima 3. To import this macro now to the Grandima 3 I bring that on my USB stick inside of the Grandima 3 folder structure. That is behind Grandima 3, Shared, Resources and then Library Macros. I copy the macro just with drag and drop inside of this folder. So now I go inside of my Grandima 3 console. I have my macro pool and by tapping on the right to an open place on my macro pool this edit window opens. So now I go to import and here I can choose my source. I choose my USB stick and here I find my exported macro. Just by tapping on it I can import it now to my Grandima 3 and I see here are all the lines that I have written on the Grandima 2. So I leave this and I see my data structure is the same like in the Grandima 2. I have a group pool, I have a preset pool with colors and I have a sequence pool. And now I will start the macro just by tapping on it. And likewise in the Grandima 2 the macro creates the sequence number 1. With the command go sequence 1 I start this sequence but only the first queue is running. So let's have a look inside the sequence just by selecting the sequence and using the sequence sheet and here I recognize that in this trick timing there is no time inside. So let's go back have a look inside of the macro again. Here in the last line of the macro this is the syntax who should create the trick timing. But this is the syntax for the Grandima 2. When I like to use this on the Grandima 3, I have to use a different syntax for that. So let's change the syntax to set sequence 1, q 1 through 3, property, trick type, time. This changed the trick type to the option times. And now I have to create another line. The syntax for changing the timing is set sequence 1, q 1 through 3, property, trick time 1. I leave the edit area of the macro and run the macro again. The sequence is created and let's have a look inside. Now the trick time is set to 1 second. I start the sequence with go sequence 1. And the sequence is running perfectly. We see this software not really converts the Grandima 3 syntax into the Grandima 3 syntax. It just changed the XML files that you can load it inside of the Grandima 3. So let me give the words from Simon Plotkowski for this. It will cut all the macros to single files and change old MA2 XML syntax to new MA3 syntax. It is just a stupid tool that takes old macro lines and pack it into format readable for the new console lines. If some commands syntax is not implemented in the Grandima 3, then you have to find a workaround for yourself. If you like to download this script right now, for sure you will find it on my homepage feeds.de in the area downloads. So, if you like to know more about the Grandima 3, then visit my homepage. 
and there you will find a lot of videos that are not on YouTube. And for beginners of the Grand MA3, you will find a complete Grand MA3 basic training with more than 50 lessons. My name is Fietz and if you like this video, please leave a comment below.